Hello everyone, we will continue the topic debugging and in this video, we will do the comparison of session breakpoint and external breakpoint. So far, we covered so many videos. Now, in all those videos, or if I will go for any of the program, any function module, anything, we are always, always able to see these two red marks. If you see, this first red mark is for session breakpoint, and this second red mark is for the external breakpoint. And so many people ask this query, what is the purpose of this external breakpoint? Yes, we are able to do the same to same thing through external breakpoint. So in which scenario we need to go for session breakpoint, in which scenario we need to go for external breakpoint. So all these questions will be answered into this particular video. So what is your session breakpoint? A session breakpoint is attached to user session and it exists unless and until is user is not closing the last session. We will understand the meaning of this particular line. Suppose I have this particular session. Into this particular session, I am putting a session breakpoint. So session breakpoint is for the user session. Suppose my login ID is R Mehta. So for this user, I put a session breakpoint. Suppose I am opening another session. Suppose I am going for SC38 transaction port and I am opening suppose another session and in this session, suppose I am displaying another program. So now I have two sessions. In one session, I have put the session breakpoint into this particular program and another session is all about this particular program. Suppose I am closing this particular session in which I put the session breakpoint. Suppose I am putting slash and SC38 and suppose I am opening another program. Suppose I am opening another program. Now people think at this point of time, whenever you are closing a session, so whatever the session breakpoint you put into that particular session, that session breakpoint will not be there. And that is totally, totally a wrong perception. In every interview, we ask this question. Suppose you have a session. In that session, you put a session breakpoint and you close that session. But other sessions are still there. Will you able to see the session breakpoint, whatever you put? People are saying no. That is not the correct answer. Unless and until you are, you are not completely logging out from SAP, unless and until your one of the session is active. So whatever the breakpoints you put, it is always, always will be there. Suppose I am opening that program in which I put the session breakpoint. Suppose this is the program in which I have put the breakpoint, session breakpoint. If I will go for this particular session, you can see the breakpoint, session breakpoint is there. Or you can understand in such a way also, if any of the user session is active, so whatever the session breakpoint you have put, it will be there. If you are closing the session, that is not a concern at all. If any one of the session is active, suppose I am completely logging out now. Suppose I am closing all the sessions. I completely logged out. Now none of the session is active for me. So whenever I will log in, session breakpoint will not be there. Suppose if I am logging again. Now if I will go for same to same program. Now you can see session breakpoint will not be there. So if any one of the user session is active, you will be able to see your session breakpoint. If you are closing that session, that's not a concern. If you are opening the same program again, session breakpoint will be there. 
But if you completely log out, if you are logging out and none of your session is active, so whatever the session breakpoints you put previously, that will not be there. Now I will come simply compare it to now external breakpoint. Suppose now I'm putting a external breakpoint into this particular program. I'm putting and you will be able to see the first important difference. You can see I put a external breakpoint and I'm getting a message for my ID. There is a external debugging and what is the validity? Validity is of two hours. Now, suppose I am into this particular program. I put a external breakpoint. Now, this external breakpoint has a validity of two hours. Suppose if I'm logging out. Now, if I will log out, that now it does not mean that the breakpoint will not be there. Breakpoint has a validity of two hours. That is an external breakpoint. So whenever I will log in, external breakpoint will be there. Suppose if I am logging again, if I will log in into the system, you will be able to see the external breakpoint because it has a validity of two hours. If I will go to the program, you can see the external breakpoint will be there. Have you seen? We are able to see the external breakpoint. This is the first important difference between session breakpoint and external breakpoint. Session breakpoint, if you are logging out, if none of the session is active, you will not be able to see the session breakpoints which you have put previously. But external breakpoint has a validity of two hours. Even if you log out, so whatever you have put, it will be there because it has a validity of two hours. Now we will go for second difference. Second difference is in terms of their how they look like. Suppose if I will come on to session breakpoint, how session breakpoint look like? Have you seen this in front of this red symbol? We have a desktop like icon. So how the session breakpoint look like? The icon of session breakpoint looks like a computer monitor. We have just like a computer monitor. This blue, this blue is a computer monitor in front of a stop sign. And this red is your stop sign. And how the external breakpoint look like? Yes, we have a person. We have and the where is the icon of external breakpoint looks like a person. This is a person in front of a stop sign. This is just like an icon, how the session breakpoint icon is and how the external breakpoint icon is. Now the third important difference and in any interview, if you say this, everyone can understand that you know the concept of your session breakpoint and external breakpoint. In which scenario, we need to go for session breakpoint. In which scenario, we need to go for external breakpoint. Why SAP gave the concept of session break? Why, why SAP gave the concept of external breakpoint? We have never used the external breakpoint. Where we can use the external breakpoint simple. If you are working in SAP, if you are internally working in SAP, suppose, I logged in into SAP. Suppose simple, I logged in into the SAP system. I logged into SAP GUI. Suppose I will log in. Suppose I'm going for SC38 transaction code. Now I opened this particular program and I'm doing that debugging here. It means Internally, you want to do that debugging. You want to debug the ABAP code within SAP itself. You are internally doing the ABAP code. You, are, you want to debug the ABAP code internally. You logged in into the SAP system and you want to debug the ABAP code. At that time, you can go for session. You can go for external. No problem at all. Both have the same to same purpose. The only thing is 
if you logged out, session breakpoint will not be there. External breakpoint will be there. So whenever you are doing the debugging, whenever you are debugging the ABAP code within SAP, internally within SAP, no problem. You can use any, any type of this breakpoint, session or external, and people always prefer session. There's no difference. Now, whenever we want to debug the code, whenever we want to debug the ABAP code, from the external process, then in that case, session breakpoint will not work. Suppose simple, in the future, you will learn a topic, Web Time Pro application. In that, we will run the applications on the web browser. In that case, we are calling the ABAP code from the external application. In that case, session breakpoint will not work. Word itself is saying you are going for external debugging. Yes, you are doing the ABAP code debugging from the external application, from the external process. At that time, session breakpoint will not suffice the purpose. You need to go for external debugging or you need to set the external breakpoint. That's why SAP provided the concept of external breakpoint. Whenever you want to debug the ABAP code from external process, then at that time, external breakpoint will come into picture. Suppose I will show you. Anyways, you do not, if you do not have the knowledge of Web10 Pro, no problem. Suppose I will go for SC80 transaction code and I will show you one Web10 Pro application. There's no need to go into it in this time showing you. Suppose this is one of the Web10 Pro application. Suppose I will go for putting the breakpoint into this ABAP code. Suppose I will go for a method and I will put a breakpoint. You will be able to see there is no, there's no availability of session breakpoint. There is only external breakpoint. Suppose I am clicking you are able to see the code. If I want to put a breakpoint, have you seen? We are only able to see the external breakpoint. There is no provision of session breakpoint at all because whenever I will run this, my application will run on the web portal. Now from that web portal, you want to call the ABAP code. You want to call the or you want to debug the ABAP code from the external process. At that time, external breakpoint will work. There is no point of session breakpoint. Suppose I am putting this. Suppose I am running this and it is saying, yes, it's a breakpoint set. Now I will run. Simply run. I will this Web10 Pro application. I will test. Now my application, Web10 Pro application will run on the web portal. This is your web portal. Now from this web portal, I want to debug the ABAP code. Suppose I am giving a input and I am clicking on to submit. Now external breakpoint is there. That's why system will enter into the debugging mode. And have you seen system enter into the debugging mode? And in the future or in the projects, yes, whenever you are calling the ABAP code from external application, suppose we have business server pages are there. So whenever you will go for all these kinds of things, at that time, you will always, always put a external breakpoint. So what is the summary of this particular video? important from the interview perspective, from the knowledge perspective. First important difference, session breakpoint. Whenever you are putting a session breakpoint, it is always, always be there unless and until any of the session is active. If you are deleting, that's a different issue. If you are not deleting, yes, session breakpoint will be there. If you are all sessions, if you completely logged out, then session breakpoint will not be there. If any of the session is active, you will be able to see the session breakpoint, what you have put. Whereas 
external breakpoint as a validity of two hours. Whenever you logged out also, if you are logging and validity is still there, you will be able to see the external breakpoint. Next difference we covered, yes, your session breakpoint, yes, looks like a computer monitor and we are in the computer monitor in front and yes, then we have a stop sign. And how your external breakpoint look like? We have a person in front of a I'll say stop sign. Now, in which scenario? Why external breakpoints are there? Whenever you want to debug the code internally, no problem. Suppose you logged in into the SAP, you opened a program, you want to debug. Whenever you want to debug internally, you can use session, you can use external, no problem or no difference at all. But whenever you want to debug the ABAP code from the external applications or external process, just now I showed you Web10 Pro application in which we want to debug the ABAP code. Yes, we are running the application on the web browser, but we want to debug the ABAP code at that point of time, external breakpoint will be there. Session breakpoint will not help us. So this is all about what is session breakpoint and what is external breakpoint. So that's it in this video. Thank you.